All right, we have arrived and we're turning it off. Watch what it says when it turns it off, watch. See you. So what is your opinion, Justin? I think they're awesome. Yeah. You still have to work hard, like the, probably almost the, I would honestly say probably more than, I think I might've turned it on maybe three times. And it's kind of weird because it, it's almost like when you're on a spin bike and that flywheel spinning and you feel like you're continuing to go. So that momentum is still there. And then on the downhill, you're going pretty good because the bike is so heavy. So there's a lot of like dynamics to it. And then if you're on a straight and you turn it on eco mode, it, you're still not gonna go any faster unless you shift. So you still have to shift. And it's reading, it's kind of weird. Like if you, if you know how you, you start, like you get on and off your bike and you start to go, it's, it's reading the amount of push that you have on your pedal. So if you automatically kind of push off, you know, like getting started down there, you're gonna go whoop, kind of throws you a lot, you know? And um, so that's one thing that you have to realize is, is reading how much you're pushing the pressure and that's what's kind of giving you the power. It's also recognizing your cadence and giving you more more power that way too. But it's, it's interesting, you're, you have to work. Like I am sweaty, I don't know if y'all can tell. Like I'm sweaty. So, and my heart rate is still 112. I think it was like 140 or something like that. So it's still worth it. Um, it's fun. So we're going to try it out on the trail tomorrow. Peace.